being offensive is simply the manifestation of the truth at war with lies and deception. We are offensive with our words so that we can avert the need to go to actual physical combat with those who desire to enslave us. Most people, they're very afraid of offending others. The idea of being offensive has been coupled with or associated with not being a good person. The truth is actually the opposite. Being offensive is actually a good thing. Oftentimes it is the right thing, the correct thing to do. There's a reason why being offensive has been demonized. There's a reason why being offensive has been pulled out of mainstream society and pulled out of what is considered good behavior. Being offensive is simply the manifestation of the truth at war with lies and deception. Because lies and deceptions want to hide and obfuscate and basically occult the truth for its own agenda. And people who have hidden agendas, people who want to exercise control over others, they always need the truth to be hidden. There's no way that they could do what they're doing if the truth was right in people's faces. So what they do instead, what these social engineers have done is over long periods of time, they have conditioned humanity to accept the notion that being offensive is highly correlated with being the kind of person that really we don't want around. The kind of person that you wouldn't want to associate with, the kind of person who could even be considered dangerous. Oh my, being offensive means that you could be dangerous. The social engineers actually are correct. They are correct in that aspect because being offensive can be dangerous to them and to their hidden nefarious agendas. Being offensive means you are on the attack. You are attacking. What exactly are we attacking? What am I attacking when I'm being offensive? I'm attacking lies and deception. That's what I'm actually attacking. Now, if the person whom I'm speaking to or the person who hears my words, if that person is lying to themselves, if they themselves are being deceptive, if they are causing harm to others and somehow lying to themselves or even thinking that they're doing the right thing in their own twisted mind, then what I'm saying is offensive to them because it is an attack on their immorality, on their incorrect and wrong behavior. So yes, it could even be an attack just on their wrong thinking even before the action. So yes, they will feel attacked and they should because that is the sacred masculine principle of self-defense activating and feeling attacked is absolutely correct. And this is more a message for people who are part of the community that I am, which is we can generally call it the truth and freedom movement. There are many different groups and organizations within that umbrella. For the most part, whether you call us anarchists or abolitionists or teachers of natural law or truth seekers or Freedom fighters, I'm fine with all of those terms. I don't have an issue with any of them. My message to people within this community is you yourself need to be more offensive. You need to go on the offense more to face the evil that is being done in the world. More offensive in the face of people who have incorrect thinking, who are lying to themselves and whatever their motivations are, and there could be many different motivations, but regardless, when people are acting out of alignment with the truth, for example, when people are claiming that somehow a group of people form an entity and call it government, or they can call it whatever they want, and somehow they get to be the masters and the rulers, they get to tell everybody else what they have to do, and they use violence, assault people, kidnap them, throw them into a cage, even murder them, steal their property, in order to enforce the rules that they have imposed. So we need to be more offensive with people who identify with statism. We need to be more offensive with people who choose to go into professions that continue the system of slavery. People like tax accountants, public school teachers, attorneys and lawyers, mainstream doctors, politicians. We need to be more offensive. It's not just enough if I'm being offensive and a few other. We need a lot of people out there getting in people's faces, being on the offensive. Because there is a war going on. It is a spiritual war that is manifesting in our reality. And it is a war between the people who know and understand the actual difference between right and wrong behavior and desire to create a world where we respect 
the rules of natural law versus those people who think that in exchange for a paycheck, in exchange for some creature comforts, for an illusion of security, they can continue to get away with causing harm to others. So we actually need to be more offensive to those kind of people. We're not being offensive enough, people in this community. I can tell you, I'm not being offensive enough. Sometimes I need to ratchet it up, not necessarily every time I speak, but we need to get out there and we need to be more offensive and more in people's faces if, if, this is a very important part of it, if we actually want to walk our talk and actually live as free human beings to express our free will, manifesting actual physical freedom in this 3D reality. If we don't truly want that, then obviously there is no need to do what I'm saying. But if you actually want to be free, if you actually want to live as a free being, then you're going to have to go on the offensive with your words so that we don't have to go on the offensive with guns and weapons. We are offensive with our words so that we can avert the need to go to actual physical combat with those who desire to enslave us. That is why being offensive is such a good thing. It can actually stave off the necessity for physical war, for physical combat where people actually are gonna get killed or hurt. And I would encourage you, if you are watching my videos and you yourself are a content creator, doing the one great work, helping others to wake up and teach principles of natural law, then I would ask you, what can you do to be more offensive? What can you do to unleash more of the authentic voice within you, that voice of truth, and bring that to bear as a spiritual weapon against the liars and deceivers, the frauds, the charlatans, the imposters around us, those people who are lying to themselves and then ultimately lying to the world around them so they can wake up to the truth of who they actually are and what they actually are doing. And this is why being offensive is so important and we need to actually ratchet it up. We need to take it to a higher level than what it is I have much more respect for people who are very offensive, who are speaking core principles of the truth, than someone who's trying to be nice about it. I'm not gonna really ruffle any feathers, but as a result of that, they're not bringing to bear the full force, even of their own knowledge and understanding. They're not really teaching powerfully these principles, which is a shame because they have the potential to do that and they can do it and we actually need more people to do that. If we wanna win the spiritual battle without a physical war, then we need more people to be offensive with their words. Thank you very much. I hope you found this video to be really helpful. My website is called freedomvibe.art where I share principles of natural law that would allow us to change the current human condition from what it is right now, slavery, to one of true freedom. Take action to apply these principles in your own life. And once you've gained enough of an understanding, you've done the work on yourself, start to teach and share these principles with others using your own words and your own way. Also, if you're getting a lot of value and you want me to be able to reach more people, then I want to invite you to help me out by making a 100% voluntary donation to my work and to this project. You can do that at freedomvibe.art slash donate. Check it out. Get involved. Be a true freedom fighter. Embrace the values of knowledge and understanding, courage and care, and let's make this happen. Thank you very much.